Hi, my name is Ignatius and I'm the Director of Music of the SAF Central Band. Uh, this is the band that performs for presidential and state ceremonies, um, including national day parades, as well as overseas uh, performances. <laughs> So the SF Central Band uh, is made up of uh, professional musicians. Uh, all of them are under the Military Domain Expert Scheme, which means they have ranks like this, ranging from ME1 to ME5 to ME6. Most of these musicians are industry partners. They are also serving as adjunct like, deputies. Um, they are highly qualified. Many of them have already uh, attained their bachelor's or master's qualifications before they joined the SF Central Band. The band performs primarily for presidential and state ceremonies, uh, the most high profile one being the uh, annual National Day Parade. Uh, we also do uh, every uh, welcome ceremony at the Istana whenever we have foreign dignitaries, prime ministers, or presidents coming to visit. Uh, we'll be there performing our national anthem as well as the foreign national anthem. Uh, on top of that, we do get uh, invited regularly overseas to perform. Um, countries such as, as the United States, uh, China, and most recently also in 2018-2019 uh, we were in Japan, uh, Japan, and so on and so forth. So uh, we usually travel at least once a year. Um, other than that, we also have a lot of community and public concerts in Singapore. Uh, we do regular concerts at the Esplanade Concert Hall and in the Recital Studio where we feature uh, the best of our musicians. Uh, we like to perform for the community, so we do bring the band out to secondary schools to do morning exam program where we hope to touch them a little bit with our music. Most of our musicians either come in as ME ones if they uh, come in straight directly from uh, after graduating from their colleges, or they could potentially come in directly as ME twos if they have already accumulated. Uh, experience or certain expertise in the industry itself. Um, every musician in the SF Central Band uh, will be eventually be able to attain up to the rank of ME2 at least. Uh, this is the SAF way of uh, recognizing their expertise and their responsibilities as professional musicians. Well, a director of music primarily uh, serves two roles. I think the first one being the, the, the one of conductor or the artistic director. Um, no different from any professional orchestra or professional ensemble out there. Uh, so we decide the program, uh, what music we play, what type of uh, performances do we do, how do we prepare for them. So um, on a very basic level, we rehearse the band, we stand in front of the band with the, with the little stick. Um, but being a director of music in the SAF uh, encompasses that of a commander as well. So as a director of music, I uh, kind of act as the commander as well. So I have uh, uh, full responsibility over their career, their well-being, um, any, anything related to the operational capability, capability development, or the, just sound administration of, of the band itself. So uh, because of this, uh, it can get quite busy, but uh, it is also because of this that I enjoy the work. Uh, you know, sometimes I don't even see myself really as a classical musician. I just would like to see myself as a musician and enjoy jazz, enjoy pop. I do get teased a lot because I don't know a lot of uh, pop music. Like the, you know, the BTS, I'm not really, really well, very, very familiar with them. But uh, I do enjoy the music of various kinds. I am still the associate conductor of EV Band. Um, and it, it is on top of my job with the SAF Central Band. Um, this is something that I'm really proud to do. Um, I think, uh, first of all, the main conductor, Mr. Tan Bing Bing, uh, is a mentor for me. I think without him, I, I would not be anywhere near where I am today. Uh, he, uh, to me, he's more than a teacher. He, he is, he's almost like my father, <laughs> you know. Uh, he's made such a difference to me. So for me, first of all, um, it's always uh, important for me to give back and TP has given me a lot um, um, and for me when TP invited me to be back 
to be a associate conductor uh, was an absolute privilege. But on top of that, um, it's really wonderful to be part of something exciting. exciting and I think uh, the arts uh, community within TP, performing arts particularly, uh, it's very vibrant. Uh, they have an incredible team, you know, uh, outstanding musicians, uh, outstanding uh, leaders uh, who are not just dedicated to excellence, but also the absolutely dedicated to the students. So Vivian, Nigel, Vivian, you know, the entire team really uh, very inspiring to work uh, side by side with them. Um, so I'm very proud to, to be able to do that as well. So um, sometimes I get a bit too busy, um, but it's an absolute privilege. So I, I, I don't have any complaints. <laughs> I don't know whether you should film this, <laughs> but when I went to TP to study hospitality and tourism, um, I already knew that I was going to be a musician. Um, but back then, um, it was very difficult to convince my, my mother that uh, that you can be a musician full time, right? As with most parents, uh, and to be really honest, uh, I I could have gone to study music straight away so um, or study something else and at that point of time um, my decision was simply based on the fact that I, I wanted to make sure that I was going to be good enough so I, I grew up in a single parent family my, my mother supported me and my sister my other sister uh, by herself so I, I grew up quite poor <laughs> to an extent I, and I depended on bursaries and scholarships to get to where I am today. Um, so at that point of time, it was it was also a case of like, um, I knew I, I, I loved music and I wanted to be full time. But if I was not to be good enough to make a living, then maybe it's not such a good idea. So at that point of time, I was looking at like a second passion. And uh, for me, it was it was during a time where, you know, the IRs were being built. And I felt that people industry is something that was interested in. I like to talk I like to surf and tourism, hospitality and tourism is also a very exciting area that I want to explore. I, um, so in that sense, I went to TP knowing that it was kind of a backup plan, but all, also at the same time knowing that most of the people skills or management skills that I'm going to pick up from that three-year three course is definitely going to help me as a musician and particularly as a conductor and today as a as a director of music. So I say, first of all, um, don't give up. Um, whether is it, if, if your passion is in music, if your passion is, in, is to be a doctor, to save lives, to be a, a train driver, anything, you know, to be a pilot. I say, first of all, don't let anyone tell you that this is not possible because I can say from experience, um, if you manage to find something that you're passionate about and something that you're good at, to be able to do it as a career is, is a dream come true. You know, uh, I don't feel like coming to work. I, I, I'm just living my life, you know, and, and I get paid to do what I really enjoy uh, as a musician. Um, of course, I think sometimes uh, it's difficult to convince uh, people that you can actually have a career uh, in music as a full-time musician. I would say, give me a call <laughs> because in the SAF Central Band, we have a, a very, very good career and a meaningful one. Um, yeah, don't give up. Just chase the dream, chase the rainbow and you'll be surprised. <laughs>